Hi, this is Ali and you are watching the ChatGPT features video series on Learn Awesome. In this video, we shall discuss iterative prompting technique with ChatGPT. ChatGPT is not perfect, nor are you. To get a response which is exactly as you intended is often a pipe dream even for skilled users of ChatGPT. Slowly but gradually, you come to expect a certain behavior from ChatGPT and adapt your prompts to add instructions, context, and other stuff to nudge ChatGPT towards your intended output. This cyclic process of prompting, analyzing response, and then reprompting with modifications is known as iterative prompting. As an example, let's say you are early years teacher and trying to research a science topic for your class tomorrow. For example, why things float. So you ask ChatGPT and it gives you paragraph upon paragraph of detailed output about density, its formulas, and lots of maths. Clearly not something you or your intended audience is interested in. You realize that you were not specific enough and need to bring role and context into the picture. So you instruct ChatGPT to act as a primary grade teacher and answer the same question. It does, and it's better but too long, and certainly not in a format which you would be able to read out to class of noisy children. So you ask it to limit it, emphasize certain areas of the output. Yes, finally it's getting there. Now you add another instruction to format as a bulleted list of points. Yeah, finally you have what you needed. Took several attempts, right? But that is the process to get the right output. It is not unique to ChatGPT. You do this all the time in real world scenarios. Process to get the right output is most important. And now you understand it and you can get the best out of ChatGPT going forward. The important takeaway is that getting right response is a creative process and most creative processes are step-by-step -step improvements over an initial first step. You should not be frustrated by the first wrong, or should I say not the right answer you get. Rather, this should be expected as a raw material to be refined into the actual product. Diamonds are not mined as diamonds. Same is true for ChatGPT output. You need to polish the raw output to make it shine. You can use multiple techniques to refine output, some of which we have learned and some we shall in upcoming videos in the series. Some of these include be more clear and specific, provide context, introduce yourself, assign a role, rephrase your questions, narrow down scope, provide examples and templates for intended output, and explore or nudge chat GPT towards alternative answers. Lastly, let me emphasize that you don't need to modify the entire prompt each time. ChatGPT has context and memory. You can use it to your advantage and iteratively prompt in next question. For example, you can ask it to spell top 5 siege weapons used by Romans in ancient times. Then you can ask which of these were used in the War of X and ChatGPT should understand you are still talking about Roman siege weapons and answer accordingly. This brings us to the end of the seemingly common sense topic but a very important one to be used as a process. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe to be notified of upcoming videos. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.